Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I figured since I'm going to do a turtle soup recipe, I might as well show you where I get my turtles from. <laughs> no, not really. You can't buy turtle meat anymore. Uh, it is pretty good though, but you can't buy it anymore. All right, so anyway, sit back and enjoy this uh, video, and uh, I will see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Wait, not yet. I'm having trouble lighting this thing. Come on, there you go. All right, this should do it, I hope. Come on, baby. Ah, there, man, again. I'm not real good at this, but I try hard. Okay. All right, I got to go. This is it.
So I'll do a little bit more on it. For today, but some of it's got to be done on the inside of the house. I have actually had turtle soup before. Back, back in the 70s. Back in the 70s, before it was outlawed, uh, I was dating this girl whose father was a big VIP for uh, Coca-Cola. And he took me... He took me uh, to a country club. I guess it was his country club, I don't know. And... Um, we had turtle soup and I gotta tell you it was very very good it was really good <coughs> all right <clears throat> so let me cut this piece off back here you can see there's a piece here let me see I might be able to pull it off oh yeah oh shit I just want to bend it do is I want to want to burn the paint off the head and the flippers that way the um, that way the shell will stand out <clears throat> so let me do this I'll burn the head first Like I said, I've had turtle soup one time. That was back before it was illegal. And uh, man, I gotta tell you, this stuff was really good. It tasted like a combination of things. Like a uh, combination of scallops and conch and lobster. But now, of course, you can't get it. I suppose if you go into Caribbean somewhere, they still have it. Okay, now all I want to do is burn. I just want to burn the paint off.
I know it looks like it didn't do anything, but believe me, it did. The paint will come right off now with a little bit of sandpaper. What I'm doing is I just want to make the the uh, the head and the fins and the flippers. I want to make them look different. Oh. The next steps are to take it inside and I'm going to sand it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 3D pen and I'm going to you know put the lot uh, put the details in the shell with the 3D pen. All right, all of this is going to come off. You see it's it's going to turn uh, it's going to turn to metal this and the shell I didn't burn so not a problem but anyway the 3D pen uh, the 3D pen will um, will put detail in it that stands out it's 3D no it's not a regular pen it works with the filament I'll show you all through the steps of what happens here um, okay, anyway, once I get the detail in on the shell, then I'm going to polyurethane the whole thing. They look pretty good when they're done. This is actually only the second turtle I've ever done. But all the other stuff, you know, looks really good when they're finished. Alright, I'll tell you what, I can do, I can do one more fish, and then I'm going to go in. So, hold on one second. All of my stuff comes from uh, recycled material. You know, I don't buy any metal. All of this comes from, uh, you know, junk that I found. Uh, this here is an old filing cabinet. Down below is an old computer. I have about 30 old computers. A buddy of mine owns a computer shop. And, you know, whenever the computers are no good, they throw them out. Well, I asked him to, to save them for me. And he said, okay. So that's where I get all my old computers from. Here, hold on one second. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. There you go. These aren't finished either. They uh, they need the polyurethane. As you can see, this one says Dell, and so does this one. They both say Dell on them. Uh, these are, actually this came from the same computer. 
and um, you know one on each side but uh, they look pretty cool here this one has the hook ready to hang that one I still have to polyurethane them I was thinking of writing Florida in here with the 3d pen but uh, that might take away from the Dell I don't want to take away from the Dell I want to leave that you know the Dell is the high uh, the uh, I uh, the focus point is the Dell so I don't think I'll write Florida on these I might on the turtle I don't know yet but one thing for sure they last forever <laughs> you know what I mean this is really thick this is thick metal you know I mean this thing's gonna last forever this one I have to fix the mouth and on this one I have to put an eye I'm gonna put an eye with the 3d pen I could burn it in that doesn't really matter all right so let me I'm gonna do one fish here all right let me see now go now I got to cut out the top cut out the, the fins ah. okay and all this leftover metal this is all going to get recycled I've got a washer and dryer ready to get cut up I'll tell you what I'll make this video part one and um, you know and then when I get to the next step uh, I'll make it part two and then the final step will be the the um, Final step will be the uh, what you call it. I forget what they call it already. The 
going to cut out the fins here. Uh, the final step will be the polyurethane. You know, once everything is finished, the polyurethane goes on and it seals everything up. Uh, okay, there was a real high pitch whistle in here. Uh, I, I actually didn't hear it when I was when I was cutting this fish, but I heard it on the recording. So that's I cut the audio out of this part. Um, what I was saying here was that uh, my friends told me to use a a um, what you call it a uh, to use a um, uh, arc welder. An arc welder is electric. And you can get a real fine detail with an arc welder. The only problem is I don't want a fine detail. I want them to look rustic and all jaggedy and, you know, stuff like that. That's why I, I'm not using an arc welder. If, if I wanted to use an arc welder, I might as well carve them out of wood, you know, because that's what, that's what an arc welder does. I mean, it, it's going to make it all the lines are straight and everything else. I can see that the the body of the fish is misshapen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that up in a minute here. Uh, but anyway, some other folks suggested that I paint them, and I don't want to paint them because then you might as well make them out of wood. You know, I mean it's you know I want the metal to show. In fact, I have a whole bunch of them that I just hang on the fence and let them get rusty. You know, they they turn completely rusty. And then I'll polyurethane over the top of them, and man, they look really cool, you know. Uh, but I'm not going to paint them, and I'm not going to cut them with an arc welder. No, that's, that's out. No way. All right, so anyway, here I am cutting away. I'm trying to get some detail in the tail. And the back of the fish, his body looks a little bit too plump. So I'm going to cut some of that out here coming up I don't know where it is but it's somewhere in there um, there I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking wow that thing's really misshaped all right anyway um, there I'm trying to get it to the right shape I don't really know if I ever do get the right shape on it let me see oh yeah yeah I get the right shape yeah, once I cut that a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom there, it looks much better. Okay, so now I have a lot of work to do. I got to 
I gotta take them in the in my shop and I sand them down and and do uh, and um, hold on. Let me uh, let me get to with this guy here. Hold on. All right. So that's the fish is done. And once I get it all polyurethaned and fixed up and everything else, it'll look really cool. Trust me. Um, okay, that's about it. I got to get going. You might be able to find this someplace else around town, but you ain't going to find it any better than this. See you later. I got to eat. Holy mackerel. I'm getting fat. Woo. This ain't good.